Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this video, we're going to make a sun be our light source and use that to have a dynamic shadow in our lens. For this video, I already made the sun texture, so you can find it in the texture folder. Let's add it to our project by duplicating one of the images and place the sun behind all of our objects. Then, I'm gonna adjust the size of our sun. Cool, this is looking great. Now, let's make the shadow move based on the sun position. To do that, set the light as a child of our sun image object. Then, select the light and set the position to zero. Now, we want our light to always look at our center of the scene. To do that, select the light and then click on Add Component in the Inspector panel and select Look At. This will change the rotation of the object so it always look at the target. Now, let's set the Word Object Controller as a target so it always look at the center of the CD. Let's move the sun and see how it looks. Amazing! Like before, you can have the sun to be interactable using the Word Object Controller or use Twin to animate this. For this video, I'm gonna use Twin to move the sun. Let's select the sun and add the Twin transform onto it. Then, again, set the movement type to 2. And let's find a good end position and paste it to the end input. For the sun, I'm gonna set the loop to ping pong and make the speed really slow. Great! We created the sun as a light source with the real-time shadow. I'm gonna stop right here and let you guys add your own creative touches to the lens and see you guys in the next video.